Hello, my name is Eric Liang, and this is my CLC Capstone project. I have a passion for public transit, but I also have a passion for mental health. Today I'll be answering my essential question, which was, how can I make a positive difference in the community while also enjoying my passion for public transit? This all started in April of 2020. My mental health was slowly declining as the days went on, so I realized I had to do something about it before it was too late. More specifically, I was feeling pretty depressed for about a month. That's when I discovered Kids Help Phone. Kids Help Phone allows you to get insights or support on anything you may be going through, such as a tragedy, racism, or discrimination. After spending some time learning about mental health, I thought I wanted to make a difference in the world. I started making videos to raise awareness on mental health. Honestly, I started doing it because I was also bored and I wanted something to do. But some of the facts are just really alarming. For example, only 20% of Canadian youth get support for their mental health. That number should be at least 75% in my personal opinion. We see advertisements everywhere, so I thought, why not make a couple ads to raise awareness for mental health in public? And by advertisement, I mean something simple. There's your fact, only one in five children get support for their mental health in Canada. And then there's your two resources, the website and the phone number. I'll give you a moment to look at that. Here's another example of an advertisement. Get mental health support today. There's your main point. There's the website and there's the phone number. And the picture's just there for attention grabbing purposes, but that's pretty important if you're making advertisements or trying to get your point across. Here's another example of an advertisement. This one's pretty simple. Love yourself. Your mental health matters too. Because the truth is, it does matter. And not every advertisement has to be full of visuals and information. Theoretically, I'd like these advertisements to be placed on public transit, such as the back of a bus or the side of a bus, as shown here. Or on the inside of a bus, as shown here. Or on an advertising board inside a SkyTrain station, as shown here. Here's a quick video on how I made one of the ads. Here's what one of my friends had to say about mental health. I think mental health is extremely critical. As adults, we're expected to juggle many competing priorities, and to be able to stay on top of it all, it's no easy feat. Upon completing this capstone, I learned that having a basic understanding of mental health is crucial to any career that you want to go into. For example, I want to get into city planning, and although mental health has nothing to do with it, having a basic understanding of mental health will allow me to 
help and support others in the workplace. And to me, that is extremely important. I know people personally that can't talk to their parents about what they're going through in life. So if I can just be there for them and listen to them and just let them vent all they want just to get all the heat out and all the stress and anxiety, whatever it is, then that makes me happy and my job is done. I also learned that a lot of work goes into creating advertisements and putting them out in public. You have to be able to know what you're trying to tell people and put that message out there in a short but clear and concise way, if that makes sense. I really enjoyed working on this capstone and going out and getting pictures of different things and exploring the city because that's something I like to do anyway. But I didn't like that I was rushed because I did procrastinate on this and I felt really rushed completing it even though I had the whole year. But now that it's done and you're viewing it, I would say I'm pretty proud of myself. Well, that brings us to the end of my capstone. Thank you for watching, and congratulations to the graduating class of 2021.